Potato Island! <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. A lot of people have asked us to introduce some of our favorite food places on NTU. So we're gonna take you guys to some places that you can eat on campus and we're gonna start from the Waffle House. Let's go! So we are in the common classrooms mm -hmm. and we are on our way to Xiangmu Songbing. Xiangmu yeah. Songbing. I think the English is shine wood waffle. <laughs> There's um the typical waffle that you guys all know, like the sweet waffle. But the one special thing about this waffle place is that they have a savory waffle, mm -hmm. which is worth trying. And yeah. so I'm probably gonna get a savory one and Janet's gonna get the sweet, sweet one. one. And it's raining, so... What did you order? Hmm? I got the chocolate banana and bacon cheese vegetable for Arya. This is my chocolate banana waffle. This is Aria's super fancy waffle. Do you want to take a bite? Mmm. <laughs> it's so good. So good. I haven't had this for so long. They're mm -hmm. like, they just made the waffles. The waffles really. Hot. Crispy and hot, but their banana is very cold. So it's like um, kind of a weird but good combination of hot and cold. Okay, so this is mine. This is the bacon, cheese, and lettuce waffle. I haven't had breakfast yet, so this is my late lunch, late brunch. Like, should I just? Okay. That was a small bite. I oh, know. <laughs> I actually didn't taste anything but the waffle because my bite was too small. Let me try okay, again. take another bite. Yeah, hold on. Your mouth is just too small. Okay. Ah. Mm -hmm. Is it good? Mm -hmm. right. It's really good because the waffle is actually sweet. If you put like mayonnaise and ketchup and like savory stuff, it actually works really well, surprisingly. So, so tell me about your go-to lunch when you're on campus. If you're having a busy day of school in class, go to lunch. Mm -hmm. Okay, I usually go to Hota. Hota is the first student activity center that's mm -hmm. right next to the main library. Yeah. And then the reason why I go there is because they have a really, really good jjutan. How do you say that in English? Buffet. Buffet. Like Chinese style buffet mm -hmm. where you pick your own vegetables mm. and meat. I've actually have never, tried, had, no. I've never had Hota jjutan because the line is always too long. Mm. But I always go for the vegetarian situation. It's actually a longer line. Yeah. <laughs> but it's so worth it because the vegetarian option, we're gonna film that later. Mm. We're gonna take you there. It's only $50, 50 NT for one lunchbox. Really? And you choose four sides. There's a lot of rice and it's only mm -hmm. Wushu. And so a lot of international students go there mm -hmm. because it's a healthier like vegetarian option. Mm. But there's just a really long line. But surprisingly, I've never tried it because I cannot live without meat. <laughs> Unfortunately, at this point, we forgot to turn on the microphone, so none of the audio was recorded. But we're just walking over to Xiao Xiao Fu, which is one of the food courts slash cafeterias, and it's right next door to Gong Tong Jiao Shui Guan, which is the common classrooms building. So I'm now standing in front of one of the restaurants in Xiao Xiao Fu called Da Shu. Da Shu means um, Mr. or Uncle in Chinese, and this is a newly opened restaurant in Xiao Xiao Fu. And what they mainly sell is Korean food, and then they're famous for the Korean chicken. 
And I heard that they put like Korean chicken on top of rice and then a lot of people said it's pretty good. Yeah, so you guys should definitely go try it. We also thought that it was worth pointing out that there is a laundry store and a hair salon on campus right next to the cafeteria. So if you're ever in need of an emergency haircut, you know where to go. I'm standing in front of Xiao Hu, which my umbrella is hiding. But <laughs> Um, hold on, let me just turn around to show you guys. This is where I go the most often if I am on campus and in need of food. It's basically the most, it's the most visited cafeteria because they're all uh, independent restaurants. So, this is what it looks like. Okay, so among all the shops in this building, this one is the most famous one. And then they sell all sorts of noodle, curry, and like a dongban. What's dongban in Chinese? Like rice bowl? Rice balls. Yeah. So I'm now standing in front of the very famous uh, breakfast house. And then you, at this place, you can get a lot of like different kinds of sandwiches, um, simple burgers. And there's also a thing called tamping, which is like an egg roll that you can get it from here. And then they offer you a discount. So it's really cheap in here compared to other shops off campus. Oh, this is a Moss Burger. Moss Burger is one of the rare fast food options you can get on campus. The other one is McDonald's, but Moss Burger, I really like getting their rice burgers. So here they have their daily uh, specials. So there's a special for each day of the week and it's only $99. There's one thing that I need to tell you. The burger is as small as my fist. That's you so should true. keep that in mind before you come here. That's because we're used to American sized burgers. Yeah. As you can see from this video, it's raining and it's finally started to get cold here in Taiwan. Mm. What day is it? December, what's the date? Fifth. December 5th? And, and this is probably- 14 degrees Celsius. Today. And that's the coldest it's been all year long uh -huh. so far. And I honestly don't think this weather is going to last. <laughs> Apparently it's gonna be warm again next week, but. <laughs> I was telling Janet how it's annoying that Taiwan gets cold and it rains, but it's never cold enough that the rain turns to snow. Okay, so here we are at Huota. And Huota is the first student activity center. This is the other cafeteria on campus. And the vegetarian option I was talking about is this one right here. So there's usually, on a busy day, there's a line all the way, that goes all the way to the entrance of this building. But since it's $50, I think it's really worth the wait. And over here, over here is the buffet that Janet was talking about. So basically you pick your own dishes you can pick if you want rice or fried rice or fried noodles and then they weigh it, right? They charge you by how much it weighs. So my tip is to avoid the heavier foods like boiled eggs and meats usually weigh more, but stuff like vegetables, they don't charge as much. Here we are right in front of the bakery on campus. And then it's like what's really nice about this bakery is that it's really really cheap much much cheaper than even than the bread that is sold at the convenience store mm. mm -hmm. and here we have the classic iconic mcdonald's so as janet was saying earlier moss burger has a very very tiny burger so if you want standard size burgers you can head over to mcdonald's mm -hmm. that was it for our guided food tour on, uh, campus. on campus at ntu, NTU. We hope you have the chance to try out any of these restaurants or waffles when you get the chance to visit NTU or if you do decide to apply here, these are the places that you should definitely have lunch at. So, bye! <laughs> if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, any last words you would subscribe, like to say? Subscribe and then I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that if you have any more, um, any more things you want to know about, mm -hmm. then please write down in the comment section. Okay. Bye! Bye. Okay.
Okay, so as you can see, I'm now in the hospital. Don't worry, I am fine. But I'm here to visit Ashley. Hello, guys. Do you want to explain no why you. you're at the hospital? So I've been a frequent person at the hospital for my knee recently because I've dislocated my kneecap a couple of times. So I got a surgery to stabilize my knee over here if you want to. Check it out. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> but um, I'm just gonna be in here for a, a little bit until I can be discharged. We'll be on Saturday. So I've been in the hospital for a total of, I'll be in the hospital for a total of four days. This four is days. what her knee looks like. Yeah. But now she's enjoying a nice meal. Oh my God, look at all this food I have here. <laughs> I have just been drinking so much liquid because I don't want to eat anything. Hold on, Wait, what this food. <laughs> Oh, Ari, do you want to explain this soup? Okay, this is, is called Nyo Nai Pu Ji Tang, mm -hmm. which is a form of chicken soup. Yeah, obviously, yeah. And this is Tu Ji, which I guess is kind of like like free range chicken, I yeah. guess. Or, yeah. And then this is Tao Hua, which is a very traditional um, like tofu pudding yeah, Asian and dessert. Beer. It's so good. Um, it's literally just like tofu. It's really soft tofu in like sweet syrup. Syrup, yeah. And then you can put toppings on it. So this was my mom's. So we Ooh. have tapioca. This is my favorite. It's yuan. So it's like taro balls. And then there's like red bean here. Hope you feel better soon. Thank Can't you. wait to see you back in school. I mean, wait, are you coming back to school? No. I mean, the semester is <laughs> ending anyway. But yeah, we're a month in, but. Um, thank you guys so much for the support and uh, we I feel your love in Taiwan. So <laughs> thanks for watching our videos.